back to Tailgate Talks with the University of Nebraska Beef Extension. I'm Sydney O'Daniel, and today we have a guest speaker, Beef Extension Educator Hannah Greenwell out of Ainsworth, Nebraska, here to talk to us about um, getting your hay tested for your winter feeding program. Welcome back to Tailgate Talks. I'm Hannah Greenwell, Beef Systems Educator with UNL Extension. Today I just want to visit with you about forage testing and how that relates to hay quality and what that can look like for your cow herd for this winter. So as we get into this season where we start putting out a little bit more harvested forages in front of our cows as well as calves and using it in our rations, it's important to be able to know exactly what you've got so that you can know exactly what to feed. There's a huge difference in a small difference in nutrient values. So what that looks like is even in just a 2% crude protein difference in a hay product, that can equal almost a five pound difference in dry matter intake for a cow. Now, it's easy to be able to say that, but being able to quantify what that quality of that forage is and understanding what you have for nutrient supplies going into the winter is going to be critical so that you know when to be able to use maybe some of those lower quality forages that might be in a different lot compared to some higher quality forages that maybe came off some lower meadow ground and feed that closer to calving and then into lactation. So being able to nail down that timeline of where we should probably use certain forages is key and is going to be the most efficient way to be able to utilize those forages. And on top of that, maybe there was some times where we didn't get that hay put up quite like we wanted to, and it might be lacking in not only protein, but also the digestibility is a little bit lower, and we need to maybe look at supplementing that cow with a little bit more energy, maybe a little bit more protein, and being able to book those feeds out a little bit earlier can maybe have us some cost savings as well. Additionally, if you're looking at purchasing some forages, we've had a wide range of different types of weather events this summer where we've gone from overly wet in certain parts of the state to extremely dry. And so that's going to be a variation in growing and harvesting conditions. And being able to understand what you're going to be able to purchase uh, through having a forage analysis on that purchase feed, as well as being able to compare a being able to compare those different forage products on a cost per or dollar per pound of nutrient is going to be critical in making sure that you're making the best economic decision for your herd. And so thinking about that, we're going to do a quick test on a lot of hay here and be able to use the Colorado Hay Probe, which is a great tool. And most of the extension offices across the state have access to hay probes for producers to be able to come in, check those out for free. We also carry the bags and the envelopes to be able to send those uh, tests in so that it's a pretty easy streamlined process for the producer. And we want to be able to make that available for everyone so that we can all benefit because this is an easy tool to be able to dollar up in the long term for the herd. When you're going to test a lot of hay, which is considered hay that's put up off the same pasture or field within a 48 hour period, you want to think about kind of how you stack that hay if it's already in a stack yard or think about taking a very representative sample out of that hay. And so I'm just going to practice on this bale right here and we're using, like I mentioned before, this is a Colorado hay probe. It's a pretty simple uh, mechanism. It's just simply a push probe and so it'll collect all that hay sample right here in the barrel of this and as you just push this in here, you want to take it out of the middle of the bale and this probe is specifically designed so that it reaches almost to the middle of the bale. And that's what you want in a hay probe because it's going to take a very representative sample of this bale. And so as you push that in there, you're going to be able to take that quick sample out of this one bale, pull that out, and then go to another bale. You want to do about four or five different bales per sample. Um, that's about what this holds ideally. And then you just simply pop this bottom off, screws right off dumps that hay sample into a sack, and then you can ship that off for analysis. For more information, please visit the Beef Watch archive at beef.unl.edu. Thanks for watching.